Please give a warm welcome to the Optimal health. It's all about energy. But where does the energy come from? It comes from our cells. <coughs> so the quality of our cells determines the quality of our health, right? <coughs> what makes a cell to be performed in order to have an optimal health? It needs to go through three levels of perfection. Oxygen, water, and waste elimination. How do we do that? Do you think what we consume is going to make an impact on our bodies and our health? Absolutely, yes. So if this morning you were having your coffee and your donuts, or maybe not, you were granted with the biggest gift of all, of all, the power of choice. You choose whatever you want. No matter what you tell me about your DNA, <coughs> your family history, you chose this morning what to eat, and probably you've been choosing what to ingest since you were 10. So you choose what happens in your body, eventually. That's stronger than a DNA. Now the same way that the body controls the temperature, ideally at what number? 98.6. There's another crucial scale, which the blood measures. Now your temperature doesn't want to go to 104 because you're going to have health challenges, right? So, but the body receives that right away. There's another scale I'll show you right here. It is a little more long term. It's a pH scale. There you go. The pH scale. And the moment I was waiting for the use of the laser. <laughs> Seven is a neutral number, okay? Where the water stands. But the ideal number would be 7.36. That's what the body wants, actually, for be, to be healthy. 7.3, 7.4 is the number that the body looks for. But you might say, well, 14 is perfect. No, well, anything beyond 7.8 and below 6.8 is going to be life challenging, okay? It's like the cells wouldn't function <coughs> in your body and outside that range. Let's say if you go below 680, you're having some like illness or some chronic condition, maybe. So the number has to be kept. How do you keep it that way? You alkalize your body. Best way is going green, of course. Water and going green. That's why I'm always with my water. Anybody can have this, actually, 32 ounces. And the, the rate is like around uh, half of your weight in an ounce. But what happens in this side if you're acid, if you have an acid life? Well, the body creates acidity and then it starts to get rid of the oxygen, okay, at this level. So nobody can live without oxygen. And you will have conditions if you go around here where the oxygen is low. Cancer cells do very well in where there's no oxygen or low levels of oxygen. So that's how we get, we, we get diseases. We create disease on this side of the scale, but up to a certain point. After that, there's nothing else. But you can control this, as I said in the beginning. You can control what you consume. So if you just choose right now, you can tell me, no, because my habits, or I'm used to this, I like this. It's not about what you like, really. Like. It's about what you choose to do, what's right. This is the right thing. Optimize your life. What happens in acid environments? For example, a cell is made out of protons, which is the essence, OK, is a positive charge. <coughs> and then the negative charge is called electrons outside. So when you have an acid life, Right? What the acid environment does is gets rid of the negative charge outside, so the cells remain positive, and what they do, they stick together. Okay. So what happens, we're talking about the blood. So what happens when your blood sticks together? Everybody knows what happens, right? It doesn't carry oxygen anymore. You get clots, all these things, and it's not, uh, it's not uh, optimal for health in any condition without oxygen. But how many people here had any issues to lose a couple pounds. I've been there. Now, some people may say, it's my, my word. it's my uh, metabolism. 
is my metabolism. Well, that can be right at some extent, but I gotta tell you this. If you're having an acid life, okay, where you lack oxygen, then what happens is you need three alkaline units to beat one acid in the body, okay? To eat the acid. Now, if you have it over, you're overdoing it, your body is, is, is uh, made to fight disease and all these things. But if you overdo it, of course, you're gonna overflow the capacity. So what happens when you're doing too much acidity, uh, acidity? Then the body doesn't have any more alkaline units and it's gonna start taking the fat, okay? So you might be doing all the exercise you want, but if you're having an acid life, the body's gonna retain the fat and you won't lose a pound. But if you go alkaline, then the body may let go of the pounds even without much exercise. Remember this, <laughs> alkalinity extends life, okay? And there was a doctor, this is a very long story short, a doctor called Alexis Carroll. Back in 1912, <clears throat> he was doing an experiment about the cells in ideal conditions. And he noticed that, uh, he did it for a few years, he put the, the heart tissues of a chicken in ideal conditions, and they extended like three times its normal value would be life. So that says that in humans, it extends life. You can live up to maybe 240. We had perfect conditions since we started living, right? That's the theory about it. And he actually won the, the Nobel Prize about that. Remember the world. As above, so below. As below, so above. Remember the world is 75% water, 25% soil. That's how our body is supposed to be. And especially we consume 75% water, okay, versus 25% acids or proteins, whatever you want. Remember your plate, you have your plate to make a three, one alkalinity versus acid, three to one. Remember your plate, daily consumption. Supposed to be 75% vegetables, for example, and 25% protein. I'm not telling you don't eat meat anymore. You can't eat. You can even, don't worry about too much, how, how much you <coughs> consume. But what matters is the percentage. If you wanna to go towards that way, no matter where you are in the scale in life, no matter where you are, you can choose today to go that way. And you don't have to die. We, we're all gonna go that way, but you don't have to do it in pain or under these circumstances. You can just have a healthy end of your life for all of us, right? I had a cholesterol challenge in 400, 10 years ago. I started to study health until I got a point that I wrote a book, actually. It's actually a download. It's like a hard copy for me, and I wrote a book. which has a link here, and uh, where I, I talk about all these things. It's a, it's a short download. And this is how we do it, going cholesterol. So if you have any questions about this, the first answer is go green. Any questions regarding this presentation, if you have any? Yes? How do you measure the pH? The pH, yeah, yeah good question. Actually, I grew up some. This can be bought in any pharmacy and uh, as these uh, called uh, litmus paper, okay? So any any substance has a, a pH availability, okay? But we're talking about the, the human body right now. But you can buy these strips, and you just uh, can do it. Blood is the strongest. Then you have the urine and the saliva. You can do it with the urine at home, and this changes the color and tells you at what number you are in the scale, okay? So you want to go all blind. Always. So remember the percent, the 75 percent, 25 percent, that's the way to go. But yes, and you can buy this online as well, it's even cheaper. Yes, sir. You say something about drink water um, uh, intake compared to your body mass? Yes. Uh, what is high water? Uh, yes, well, what is recommended that uh, <coughs> you consume water? Because remember, your brain is 75 percent water, your lungs are 90 percent water. You need water, so how are these things are going to function without the water? So it's recommended like your weight, half of your weight in, in ounces. Exactly. Like I'm like I'm like around 200 something, so I have three of these. Are good. <laughs> well, I have three of these, and I put lemon and cucumber, for example. If you put lemon into water, the solution makes you extremely alkalized. Now, if you're eating today, you say, I only had chicken today to eat, that's all. You're doing like a, a four in what the meat is, okay? But if you don't have anything else to combine with it, you can put a solution of water with lemon and 
encounter all the acidity you're consuming, okay? So you can drink a lot of these and the piece of chicken, let's say you have veggies, for example. The water is always the way to go. You can get it anywhere you go. You can get lemon anywhere. Yeah. Is there something else besides lemon to make the water more alkaline? You know what? The tap water is even better than the bottled water. It, I, the, the, the tap water has seven, and the bottled water says it's 6.8. That's what I read. It may vary, but uh, I think the tap water is better. But when you put this, it extremely goes up. I'm not sure about the number, but it's about eight, around the eight, for sure. Yeah, I, I only ask because I'm allergic to citrus. You can put, uh, well, I, I have cucumber. Okay. Anything green. I mean, it doesn't have to taste that good, but you know it's good for you, you can do it. Okay. Choice. Yeah. I'm going to just hand out uh, some little help for you guys to have home. Well, this is a chart, okay? So keep it in. And it was a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.